By the end of the decade, working directly from camera assets right from the cloud is going to become a standard practice for anyone in the media industry. For editors, this is especially exciting because of the freedom and speed the cloud offers, which is going to be a total game changer. But with any new technology comes new workflows that will have to be discovered and explored and documented and improved. But today we get to start a whole new paradigm of workflow discoveries that will change the editing process forever. So in order to dive into this entirely new world, I am honored to hand it off to post-production expert, Valentina V. Thank you, Michael. I am really excited about Camera to Cloud and what it brings to post, especially with dailies. Now. What are dailies? This goes back to the film days, the film days, like real film. The actual rolls of film were sent to a lab and processed. This would take an entire day, so you could only see what you shot the next day. Today, for most workflows, you still have to wait for dailies to be processed, like when original camera files have to be color corrected and transcoded to smaller file formats for editing. But that means taking the files, copying them to a shuttle drive, sending them to a post house. This could take hours if you're in the same city, or it could take days. Trust me, I've had drives lost before. But the camera to cloud workflow takes the days out of dailies. Okay, so let's make some camera to cloud instant dailies. One of the most powerful Frame.io integrations is with DaVinci Resolve. You can see I'm logged into my Frame.io account in the Resolve Internet Accounts preference. Once I've securely authenticated my session credentials, I'm legit now, I can navigate to the file browser and see Frame.io as a volume. Here, I can see my camera to cloud directory and in it are clips that appear directly inside of my media storage. Every time I refresh this directory, newly uploaded files appear. When I select a file or a group of files, click Shift to select or Command A, I can pull them into a bin in my media pool. Here, I've imported separate audio and video files. Now, I can bring them into my Resolve project. It's here that I can add any color or window burn adjustments to make the dailies look the way I want them. Now, you may need a hero dailies workflow where dailies are generated from the original camera files and processed to some kind of file format other than H.264. There are a few settings we need to adjust to make sure the hero dailies created in Resolve will work well with Frame.io C2C proxies. First, under project settings, Navigate to General Options in the Conform Options section. Make sure Use Timecode is set to Embedded in the source clip. And Assist Using Real Names is checked. Then choose Embedding in Source Clip File. In the Deliver page, select Custom at the top of the Render Settings panel. Set your render destination and select Individual Clips under the Render option. Set up your codec settings in the Video and Audio tabs. And then under the File tab, Make sure the file name uses option is set to source name. You can use the same settings as your typical workflow for the rest of the process. When they're ready, you can choose to export them to an external drive or export them directly into your Frame.io project, which gives your team immediate access to your process dailies. So that's how you get Camera Cloud dailies working in Resolve. In the next episode, we'll look at another dailies process through one of Frame.io's partners, Colorfront.